Hi folks, welcome to the latest video. It is Thursday 10am and I'm about to get on with a day's work. It should be quite a busy day, I've got some shipping um, to do and also I have a fair bit of listing to be getting on with because I placed quite a large order of uh, for some stock which arrived. So I'll show you what I've um, got coming in and I'll take you through the day and share with you guys my progress on how I'm getting on working in the shop during lockdown. These are the items going out. There's uh, five items spread across just four orders, so not very busy at the moment, but it is what it is. Uh, first order was these two The Nun figures from NECA's Toonie Terror series. Those sold at £22 each, uh, plus shipping to Canada. Then the next item was actually a uh, San Diego Comic Con exclusive, and um, this is of Jax from Sons of Anarchy in his prison outfit. Uh, his orange prison clothes and that sold for on on offer of 28 pounds plus shipping to the United States then we sold this adventure time fin figure um that is a actually a UK sale that was like, I think it was like 13 pounds or something plus shipping and finally we sold this RC part here uh, it's a brace for a radio control model truck and that sold I think for about 11 pounds plus shipping so not a lot of orders going out it's been a bit up and down recently you have some days which are very good and you sell quite a lot of items and then you have some days where it goes very very quiet all of a sudden um, I've been listing semi regularly so that's probably got to do with it um, but hopefully that will all change um, with, with um, going forward because I've got this giant order of uh, stuff to list that I'll show you in a moment um, and that will hopefully bring a bit more consistency uh, but I've been saying this forever um, I think I just really want the shop to be open again so I can just sell to people face to face which is what I'm just absolutely in love with and can't wait uh, for things to get back open again eBay parcels have been packaged up um, nice and easy it's one of the things I like about selling action figures and RC parts and things is the parcels are really nice and simple to sort out. I've just gotten back from dropping off the post, so parcels are all done, and now I'm gonna be getting on with doing a bit of listing. Um, I recently placed quite a decent sized order, and I'm gonna show you some of the bits that I've picked up I'm quite excited about, uh, so let's get to it. First item I wanna show you is we've added another Living Dead doll to our collection. Living Dead dolls do, do okay for us. They're a really nice brand as well, very cool, quirky uh, design. Um, and they do these licensed ones as well as their own uh, creations and this is obviously a DC licensed Harley Quinn which is really cool. Also ha added to, to our Game of Thrones lineup we've gone for the uh, dragon here Viserion and you can see him shooting out like flames there. This is Regal, Regal? Is it Regal? I don't know if it's pronounced Regal or Regal or whatever. Uh, Game of Thrones uh, Pretty cool pose. He's got his wings kind of in a, like a flapping motion. We've got a Harry Potter dragon, and this is the Hungarian horn tail. And we've also got Buckbeak, so adding to our Harry Potter collection. We're continuing with uh, modes of transport. So we've had like dragons, which are used as modes of transport, I'm pretty sure, maybe in some of those shows, who knows. Um, we've got a Predator tribe ship. Not quite the same, this is not a dragon but it is a mode of transport and this is the Lost Tribe Chip from Predator, a really nice die cast figure. This is made by NECA. We've also got the Scout Ship as well, really cool. Horror movie wise we have gotten the new NECA Ultimate Ghostface action figure. So I've had a Ghostface figure from NECA before but it was their 8, eight inch cloth variant. This is the 7 inch range of action figures, again he does have his like, kind of cloth outfit but you've got three different head sculpts including what looks to be a glow in the dark one so really cool lots of accessories and that will be a good seller I reckon we have added Dyer and the Dark Bomber both really cool figures um, Dark Bomber is a, a nice it's a nice action figure just a nice action figure my favorite is Dyer though because he's like a werewolf any werewolf type action figures I think they're just cool aren't they you can see him there with all his accessories got a chucky face mask um, now this is a plastic mask like similar to what you'd find in like a fancy dress shop but obviously it's licensed and made to look like chucky from bride of chucky you've got his scars with his staples um, really 
kind of scary looking mask really. We've also gotten a bit of Lego-ish items. This is a Rick and Morty construction set. It's made up of a hundred and something pieces, 129 pieces. Um, it comes with a figure as well and then you can build it up just like you would a Lego set but this is not a Lego set, this is a construction set. Uh, I think it's made by, Mc yeah, it's made by McFarlane uh, quite cool actually. Um, I didn't realize they did Lego, well, construction sets. Also started to stock some cool stuff from The Witcher. Um, and these are statue type figures. They're not articulated, they're just statue figures. I like nine inch tall. And this is Geralt or Geralt Grandmaster Feline. Um, he has got his crossbow, which is not actually attached. His arm is not attached in the box because otherwise it would stick out too far from the packaging so they've actually removed his arm you can see and his arm is there and there's a socket for you to plug his arm into when you display him really nice figure very detailed nice box window display we've also got from the same series Witcher 3 Wild Hunt we have got Yennefer we've also now got Cyrilla Fiona or Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon what a wonderful name that is again from Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We've got Coraline back in stock. We've had this in before, but this sold uh, pretty quickly. And this is the more desirable 10 inch prop replica doll. Now, one of my favorite items um, in this lot of stuff has to be this giant daredevil quarter scale action figure from NECA. This is a fully articulated action figure, and man alive, it is so good. Like the detail, the face. The, the face, the head sculpts, um, the accessories, just looks amazing. And it's a hefty thing, this this box weighs over two kilos, definitely. Huge box, and it's a huge figure. And I think that is gonna look so impressive. Last, but definitely, definitely not least, uh, this could well be one of my favorite figures. Um, I have gotten in my very first Mezco Hellboy 2019. Um, action figure. This is from the 112th, collect 112th collective range from Mezco. Um, it's it's basically like a six and three quarter inch action figure, very detailed, based on the 2019 version of the Hellboy movie, which wasn't particularly well received. But this figure is amazing. Um, they're all boxed nicely. And I'm kind of debating as to whether to open one up for the shop or not. Again, for display, because I think it would look amazing, and people need to see these. Um, otherwise I'm only going to end up selling these online whereas I think I would obviously like to sell them in the shop as well but I think if they're just on display like even if I take the the bag off they're not going to just sell like that I'm going to have to crack one open for the shop display perhaps um, but um, they are so freaking awesome these figures very detailed um, the best you can get really when or, or amongst the best figures you can get I think when you're talking in that six to seven inch action figure range um, so bear in mind it's going to be just a little bit bigger than like this figure here but the quality in terms of the accuracy of the sculpt um, the accessories provided are quite on another, on another level so uh, really excited to have this um, what I'll do is I'll put a picture up here of the accessories that you get with it just to show you guys uh, because this is some serious geek stuff. Right folks, it's now 5.35 in the evening. Um, I've been working pretty consistently and have gotten 23 um, listings now ready to go online. All photos, etc. added, descriptions, etc. copy pasted across. Um, very happy with that amount of work because it does take time. The, you know, the internet's a bit slow here as well, which is a bit frustrating. Um, but glad to have gotten all that work done. On top of that, I'm really pleased that I've been working on the website itself, just trying to make it a bit more appealing. And it's taken quite some like getting used to different plugins and what they do and how they affect the website. Things are still far from perfect, but I've gotten a better grasp of how to make them better. Um, I'll show you guys what the website looks like now. It's taken a little while, but I'm getting more and more of a hang of WordPress plugins, etc and figuring out how to use them a bit better. There's still a long way to go, but the website's looking a lot cleaner and easier to navigate than it has been in the past. Uh, first thing in this header section, you can see I've actually got my own banner made up of photographs I've taken in the store, so that's quite nice. And then I've actually gone through and made 
um, you know, like nice categories, like a few simple categories for people to look look at. So you know, you've got action figures, statues, gift ideas, etc., and a few other things there, and then it shows some products down there. And I, I took the time to go in and get like icons for for all the big popular franchises that people might be looking for. And I could have made this a lot more uh, kind of um, compact, like had fewer of these categories by by just putting manufacturers of the toys down. So I could have, for example, you know, here I've got um, Diamond Select. I could have put a whole bunch of action figures into this Diamond Select box. But I thought to myself, most people aren't going to really know who Diamond Select are. However, they might be interested in Marvel and know who, you know, oh, I want a Marvel figure or or they might want a Nightmare Before Christmas figure. Now, both of those are made by Diamond Select, um, but people are more likely to go, oh, okay, I, I know that font, that Nightmare Before Christmas, that, that's, that's my jam, as it were, and they'll click on it. Um, so I thought overall I would just prefer to kind of do that rather than, you know, rather than, for example, put NECA. Now, most people won't know who NECA are, but they'll know the Predator logo or, or they'll know the Simpsons logo. Um, and even though it's a NECA toy, they can just quickly scroll down and hopefully, it'll, you know, the, the relevant brand will catch their eyes. There are some exceptions to that where I have just put the manufacturer, but they're more on the, uh, the higher end side of things. Uh, for example, Mezco's 112th Collective, people will know what that is. Um, Figma, people will know what Figma are. Um, it, people that are looking for them anyway will know what they are. So overall, it's an improvement. I still would love to make it even more organized and easier to navigate, but I think it's not too terrible. It, I've made it kind of, um, you know, similar fonts everywhere. Um, I've not used too many colors, etc. I'm trying to, you know, do what I can to make it a, a better website, but I'm always looking to improve it and figuring out new ways to improve it. I almost forgot to mention I've also done a bit of rejigging in the office area. I've actually started to use a table that I purchased uh, for selling at the outdoor market. So I'm actually using this camping table, this folding camping table as my desk. It's very sturdy, very good quality and the extra depth in on the table space is just very nice to use. Um, and as you can see, just, I've moved the table I was using as my desk over here. And this is going to be used predominantly as some kind of a packing area once all this stuff has been moved. And just overall, I prefer the the layout this way. Um, I've also reduced the amount of crates that you can see in here. Um, this A board is out. It just needs to be painted in preparation for when we do eventually open. Um, and this will then be put out on the pavement. Uh, letting people know that we're open and whatever offers we've got etc obviously we'll only be able to use that on sunny days which we're not having many of at the moment i still have a handful of um listings that need to go up onto the website and on ebay but i'm really happy with the amount of work i've managed to get done today um and there there are only a few i think maybe around 10 listings to be done so i can easily work through those either later tonight or tomorrow but i'm gonna just get myself ready um get home um in time for beck to finish and then just gonna chill out for the evening i've really been enjoying just taking some time i've been going to bed really early well not early but i've been going to bed at better times i'd started to slip back into those bad habits of staying up very late and not doing much just just getting into the like mind funks and I don't want to go go there I, I think it's better off to just get the sleep because you feel so much better in the the next day um, and and you turn out to be a lot more productive um, you know considering we're going through a lockdown considering the shop is now shut until God knows when my mood you know it, I won't lie there have been moments where my mood has been knocked by it um, over the past week or so um, hence probably why I haven't made as many videos as normal etc but I'm feeling in a much stronger place now and I think some of that has come come from getting that sleep um, I'm also trying to work on eating less um, heavy foods um, I'm just trying I want to kind of maybe just reduce the amount of food that kind of makes you feel drowsy and heavy you know um, I'm finding that eating like like the smaller portions and just like you know lighter foods is is definitely something that I'm appreciating 
Um, so I'm going to try to work on that more. Um, and also, I'm trying to look after myself in general. I've, you know, I've had really terrible circulation and really, really bad varicose veins in my legs for quite a few years, and they've gotten worse and worse and worse because I've neglected them. Um, and now I'm making sure that when I wake up, first thing I do is I put on a compression stocking. Um, they're not comfortable to put to get on and off in the morning um, and then before bed at night, but it's to look after me and you know I've already noticed a difference in how I'm feeling just by wearing them um, because I'd started to get some pretty bad aches and I still have them, but they're kind of going down hopefully um, along with the swelling and we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it there. Um, get home and edit this video hopefully you guys enjoyed what there was of it um, if you did give it a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section and I'll see you guys um, in the next video thanks for watching